Hey Pastry Puffs! Welcome back to Strudel Reviews. It's your girl Strudel and today we are going to be reviewing Na 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 Surprise Teens Series 2 Amelia Outback. And she is the third doll of this review and then sometime next week I'm going to be reviewing Gretchen Stripes and Parker Scorch. And then probably the week after next I'm going to get the slumber party set of Mila Rose and Laura Vaughn and do reviews of them. But with that, let's get right into Amelia's review. You can see she's got like a thicker arched eyebrow than Lila Lamb who has super thin eyebrows. And it's like that on both sides. And you can tell like looking at her eyes. You can see she's got yellow eyeshadow, and it goes into an ombre to like, I want to say an orangey red color. She's got the same printed on eyelashes that all the other girls have. And you can tell she's got blue-green eyes, which I think is the closest color to... I believe Carmen Linda. I'll have to look at my collection closer. And then you can see she's got the same face, facial mold as all of the other dolls. And you can see she's got like a bright red lip. Super, super cute. And then we go down to the, her outfit. You can see she's got this cute little... Cute little uh, green, I'm not sure what shade of green, probably the closest shade I can think of is either teal, like a teal green, or maybe seafoam, and seafoam green is really pretty, and you can see she's got like sewn on fake pockets, and she's got real buttons, like real teeny tiny white buttons, and you can tell like the seams of the clothes are like a light blue like a sky blue color and then if you look up close to her tie it is literally the Australian flag which we love the fact that they have an Australian based doll because if you guys remember in the beginning of 2019 before the whole global panini happen, happened Australia's wildlife had caught on fire and it was so devastating especially with a lot of the things that had been lost and I find it cute that they are doing an Australian inspired like an Australian inspired doll and the fact that her last name is Outback and she's supposed to be a koala <laughs> makes me think like Kind of a cute way to like get attention to Australia because the out I heard the outbacks and everything are so pretty. But let's get back into her review before I get too sidetracked. You can see like her skirt and the suspenders are one piece. The little part the little buckles of the suspenders are plastic, but they look very are a shiny plastic to look metal. And you can tell it's like this whitish well. I would say a beige-ish color. And then you can see, like, she is real functioning. Well, realistic-looking pockets. And you can see they've even got, like, little strips of fabric. And you can see, like, the bow is of rope. And then you can see she's got, like, a little pleather pouch on her little pleather belt. And the pocket is the same on this side. The seaming is white. I've got printing on her skirt. And I think it says na na na. Yeah, this is na 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 all over her little khaki skirt, which is adorable. And if you look at this wrist, she's got like a little... She's got a little watch that looks like a teeny little alarm clock on a wristband. And then on this side, you can tell she's got a charm bracelet with a little compass. And then she's got like a little beaded bracelet that has a yellow bead, a light blue bead, and then another light blue bead, and what looks like a red, pinkish red bead, and then 
one more yellow bead on the inside of the forearm. Which is super cute. And then, okay. We have to go down to these boots. I am pretty sure they are a similar mold to Piper Prim's boots. But there is quite significant differences. As you can tell, hold on one sec. As you can tell, like, the differences are, like, there are two, like, stri two strips of fabric that have, like, the little aglet holes. And you can t see that the laces are tied around the top of the shoe. And they have the crisscross lace mold. And they are obviously, like, a lighter brown. The sides of the boots. And then the darker brown at the toe. And they have the darker brown at the back of the heel. And then they have black soles and black bottoms. And it's the same way on this boot. And I really think it's so cute that they went the extra mile to show, like, the little detailing in the molded on shoes. It's adorable. And then if we look at her hair, you can tell her hair is, like, a caramel brown color. Maybe if you look close enough, there could be, like, shh, like, tiny hints of blonde in it. But it looks like a caramel brown to me, and it's super cute. And I think the doll that I was comparing her to Alex and Carmen, because she looked pretty similar in skin tone to them, but she is slightly darker, which I appreciate the fact that Na 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 Surprise has finally figured out how to do, like how to screen print on darker fabrics, and I will talk about that more in a minute, but I want to show you her little hairbrush. It is a metallic silver, well, a metallic gray color because it's not metallic. Actually, it's fully metallic all around the brush, and it's in the shape of a koala, which is so cute and appreciated. And then this is just Amelia's box. You can tell it's very similar to Lila and Alaska's, where it says, na na na, surprise, teens. And up here it says series two, and you can tell this is the international variant of the box, which I love when it's the international variant. And then it says Amelia Outback, and it shows you like a little bit of her artwork. And then on the inside, you can tell it's kind of similar to a mattress. Where it's got like the bunny, the bear, the kitty, the paw, the heart, and the N.A. for na na na. And then the back of the package is the same as the Series 1 package. But the only difference is that instead of Amelia having the smaller artwork on the back of the box she and the bigger artwork, it's just the bigger artwork of her. And on the back of her box, it says, if you're not a little lost, you're not exploring, which <laughs> I love so much. And I'm still missing, I'm only missing Gretchen and Parker, but I'm waiting on these two because I'm very anticipating. I'm very excited for the both of these. So I was like, I can't wait a little while longer. And then... Oof, let me show you her hat. It's a little gray furry hat. And you can see like it's got like white around the head to resemble like the face of a koala. And it's got white lining in the ears. Very similar again to a koala. I forgot to open the tag for the hat. This is like the second time I have done this. Hold on a sec. Open. Please open. Okay, good. Alright, I got the tag open and it's going to tell us what her birthday is and like what it says on the hat. And it says her birthday is May 3rd. And it says if you're not, ex if you're not a little lost, you're not exploring. And it says the same thing but in French. And I'm not going to try that again because... I'm pretty sure I butchered it when I tried it in Lila's review. <laughs> and then, um, with that being said, I know, um, Na 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 Surprise 
was, um, I wouldn't say exactly under fire, but a lot of people were questioning, hey, how come you haven't tried darker, like, darker, like, deeper skin toned dolls? And a lot of people, and then, like, na 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 surprise was like, oh, we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to find a process where, like, the screen printed on process can show up on darker fabrics. And people were like, but you have a lot of series out. Why haven't you figured it out yet? And it's really because, like, if you think of it, like, back in 2019, like, the entirety of 2019 and, uh, and even early 2020, na 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 surprise. Actually, like, a lot of MG8 brands were, like, releasing, like, didn't really take a lot of necessary time between releases to actually sit there and thoroughly figure out the process because they were turning these things out like hotcakes. Like, not even, like, a couple of months between Series 1 and Series 2. Series 2 already came out. And then, like, less than that, Series 3. And then Series 4, and then so on and so forth. And now they finally have started slowing down on the releases so they can figure out the trial and errors. So, that is very much appreciated. And then, like, you can see Amelia. Let me move her. Oh, 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 she's stuck. Let me move her over with the rest of the dolls. And I can show you the entirety of my collection. You've already seen... You've already seen Piper's review. Alex's review. Samantha's review. Carmen's review. Quinn's review. Rebel's review. Coco's review. Alaska's review. Lila's review. And now this is Amelia's review. And in a couple of, and then in like a week or so, I'm going to get Gretch, at least Gretchen and Parker. So I can wrap up series two. And I do need to find some stands for these dolls. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.